saying amen and a women is actually amoral. Actually, the word is immoral. As you all know, social media censorship is growing and my voice at the Pulse of Israel is getting hit as well. The best way you can help support my work is to simply sign up for my newsletter on the Pulse of Israel website. And if you are already a subscriber, thank you very, very much. Okay, let's get into this. By now, mostly everyone has heard about the prayer in Congress when the man who, who offered the prayer ended it by saying, Amen, and then a women. This was after Congress passed new gender-neutral rules. As Nancy Pelosi herself stated on the House floor, Through months of consultation across our caucus and Congress, we have developed a rules package that makes the People's House more accountable and responsive to all Americans, with new rules that express the views and values of the full range of our historically diverse House Democratic majority. End quote. Ready to hear about what these new rules are? Well, in Clause 8C3 of Rule 23, gendered terms such as father, mother, son, daughter, brother, sister, uncle, aunt, nephew, niece, husband, wife, father-in-law, mother-in-law, son-in-law, daughter-in-law, brother-in-law, sister-in-law, stepfather, stepmother, stepson, stepdaughter, stepbrother, stepsister, half-brother, half-sister, grandson or granddaughter will be removed. In their place, such terms as parent, child, sibling, Parent, sibling, first cousin, sibling's child, spouse, parent-in-law, child-in-law, sibling-in-law, step-parent, step-child, step-sibling, half-sibling, or grandchild will be used instead. They are totally erasing any mention of gender terms that would, God forbid, infer a male or female gender. This whole direction of erasing the male and female genders is totally immoral. Totally immoral. Morality is about moral principles. As a religious person, I believe the moral principles of our society have been set out for us by God himself. It is God who set the red lines that murder is wrong, that stealing is wrong, that coveting one's wife is wrong, etc. If it was up to man, would those be the moral rules of society? In truth, some societies might make those the red lines, while other societies won't. So too, it is also God who defined for us that he created man and woman. Not five genders, not ten genders, not 74 genders. Two. God created two genders. Pretending that there, that there are more than two genders is therefore immoral. But it goes much deeper than that. One of those powerful prayers Jews say every week is the Havdalah prayer at the end of every Sabbath. Every single week. We say this prayer at the end of the Sabbath. What does Havdalah mean? Well, it basically means differences. The prayer of differences. Literally praising God for creating differences in the world. We bless God for creating the difference between holiness and the mundane. Between light and dark. Between the six days of the week and the Sabbath, the seventh day. Between the Jewish people and the rest of the world. And I would add, we also bless him for creating the differences between man and and woman. The beauty of the world is based on understanding that things are different. Everything and everybody has its special attributes. Being different does not mean that one thing is better than the other. Rather, each thing is different with its own attributes and its own purpose. As Jews, we need six days of the week to create, but we need the Sabbath to stop and rest. Imagine if all seven days of the week was just the day of rest of the Sabbath. We would never be able to work and create. That's an impossible reality. So while, yes, the Sabbath is special, we still need six regular days of the week. We also need light to enjoy daytime. But we need darkness in order to have nights and have our bodies unwind and have darkness in order to sleep. If we had light 24 hours a day, seven days a week, our bodies would be out of whack. The Jewish people have a special purpose in this world, which is to follow God's 613 commandments of the Torah. God does not want everyone in the world to be Jewish and have to do all the 613 commandments as Jews have to do. We are no better than anyone else in the world. We, the Jewish people, just have a special responsibility to follow God's Torah. Okay? So too, with men and women. 
One is not better than the other. We are different. Men are different than women. We each have a purpose in this world. Only women can give birth. Only women have the godlike power of creating life. Men can't do that. That's only one small difference. There is enough scientific studies that not only explain the physical differences between men and women, but the mental and psychological differences as well. The brains of men and women are wired differently. One is not better than the other. A man is not better than a woman. A woman is not better than a man. But we are different. These differences should be celebrated, not erased. Today's leftist ideology is trying to erase the societal differences between men and women. It is not just wrong. It is immoral. Can I get an amen to that? And please, only an amen. Pulse of Israel, frontline videos from the Holy Land. Support our work by donating today.